have a big challenge today. We have a Pottery Barn versus Target bedding challenge. I went to both places and tried to buy bedding that was similar to each other. Each bedding is going to have a quilt, two shams, a throw pillow, and a throw blanket. So I purchased the same number of pieces from each place. So what I'd really like for you to do is comment down below which one you liked aesthetically first. Don't do that one based on price. Prices will be listed at the end. I can let you know right now that we spent a fraction of the amount at Target compared to Pottery Barn bedding. And so I am really curious to see if we can get the same quality and just this whole same vibe from Target compared to Pottery Barn or is buying the name brand at a more high-end place actually worth it? So we're gonna find out today. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. So hit the notification bell so you never miss out. Okay, we're just gonna dive right into this. For those of you that don't know, my husband Jason, he has so graciously volunteered, <laughs> didn't take a lot of convincing, to try out each one of the bedding items and let me know which one he likes better based on just like how it feels and sleeping with it and that kind of thing. All right, let's get started. All right, first up, we have our bedding here that we're gonna put on. This is what it looks like just sitting out. These are the pieces that were purchased. So we're gonna do the bedding up really quick and let me know what you guys think of this one. Okay, so this is my master bedroom. So we're just gonna do them both in here. And um, I'll try and style them both the same so we get the same vibe or whatever. Obviously, this isn't really a video and lesson in how to style your bed because there's so many different ways but we can still do it cute okay so far my first impression of this bedding is not too bad it feels nice it's got a really nice just like diamond quilted pattern on it i think i will fold it back it's a little bit different colored on the underside Okay, something I'm going to do, and I'm gonna do it with both sets of bedding. I have a set of Euro uh, sham pillows that I use pretty much in all my bedding. And the cool part about it is, is they're both, they're like a beige on one side, they're gray on the other. So they're just a nice neutral because I think a Euro sham looks so much better than just two little baby shams sitting here. So I'm gonna use these with both sets, although I am not even, um, I'm going to use this with both sets of bedding. Just keep in mind, it has nothing to do with whether it's Pottery Barn or Target. This part doesn't. Okay, so the sham that we're getting ready to put on the pillows, I just wanted to show you the back side. It's just basic and just spreads apart and goes in for this one. Something that I do always do, and I'll do this both for both beddings, um, I double pillow the sham. Uh, just because my pillows that I always use for them are kind of flat and I really want a nice poofy sham So that is a little trick that I do use uh, two pillows in mine. So If you're getting one and you're like, how'd she get such a poofy look? This is how I do it. I have to put two in here. It's so hard though. Okay, so next up, this is the pillow that I selected. This is a hand knitted cable, almost like sweater type throw pillow. Okay, one thing I do wanna say about this pillow is the quality of the pillow insert is really nice. Like this feels like a really good quality pillow. So I do love that. I love when the insert's a really nice one. So this is what we're gonna put here in the middle. Okay, and the last piece for this bedding set, we bought the matching hand knit throw to go across the bottom of the bed. So I will tell you that this does feel like super heavy and nice. It's pretty soft. It's not the softest throw I've ever had, but it does feel pretty soft. And then deciding how you want to put your throw at the end of your bed, you, you know there's several different ways. Kind of like we said earlier, this isn't a... Uh, bed styling video, but if you just want to do it like a messy look or it's coming down off of it. Now, I wonder if this is going to drive me nuts where these could start to get pulled. So we'll see how that holds up or if it stays together. Okay, there you have bedding option number one. Total price of this entire bedding, 
is right here. Woo! Okay, well, obviously that was Pottery Barn since you saw the price. So $650 for those four pieces. I don't even have anything to say. <laughs> All right, so obviously you're gonna know that the next one up is Target. Let's compare and see how it turns out, and then I'll let you know the price I paid for it. Okay, here are our pieces that we purchased from Target. We did the same thing, a quilt, two shams, a throw blanket, and a pillow. Everything will be listed down below. This is from the Casaluna line. Let's compare and see how this looks on and what we think of this one. Oh, I forgot to fold it back. Hold on, I gotta do it the same. Wait, oh wow. It's got this like, I don't know, it's almost like a silky. So I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but like here's the quilt. And then the back side almost has like a, a silky. Feels very soft. I just wanted to show you guys that up close. Okay, here on the sham for the Target one, it is a zip closed one instead of just the opening one, which I actually like better because I feel like I can really get my pillows in there and get a good poof. So let's see how that looks. Okay, Woo. I got it. <laughs> Maybe I'm too overstuffed. Those pillows are stuffed tight. <laughs> I really like this pillow that I found at Target. Went with the aesthetics of the cream colored throw and everything that I had. Yes, it's longer, but um, this is what Target had available that went well with our bedding. So we're gonna put this on. Okay, I really lucked out with this throw. Like, holy cow. This was originally $79.99 at Target. It's one of the Casa Luna hand-knitted oversized bed throws. And when I got up to the counter, it rang up for $39.99. She said they were on sale. And I'm like, what? I was so excited. <laughs> and so anyway, so this was a fantastic deal. Now, this thing is so soft. Okay, let's see how it looks on the bed, though. Oh, my goodness. I I just want to crawl in this. Oh, I know I'm not being impartial, but I got to tell you. I just can't imagine spending the price of the Pottery Barn one when this feels this good. <laughs> it does. It just feels amazing. It's so soft. I love it. I love it, I love it. My dog's gonna love it. And if you're one of those people out there who are gonna be a hater, who doesn't let their dog on the bed, I get it. To each his own. Don't come after me because I love to let my doggy sleep with me. Look at this, this thing's so soft and chunky. Okay, so here's an up close look. Bedding. Remember when we did, if you guys watched, the Pottery Barn versus Target Christmas tablescape? Pottery Barn, to me, in that one, I usually tr don't really say my opinion too much. To me, in that one, Pottery Barn blew Target away. I absolutely thought that the item that we bought was so beautiful, I kept it. <laughs> and it just really stood out. I, in this one, do not think that Pottery Barn blew this away. The only thing that I really like better from the Pottery Barn one, there's a couple little things. And you guys let me know if you agree or disagree down below. I like the color of the Pottery Barn one. I, this came in that blue color, but that's just me because you guys know I love blues. So I'm really drawn to the blue of the other one. And I like the quality of the throw pillow of the Pottery, one, Pottery Barn one better. It, it does have better quality, but for the price, oh, I haven't even told you. Ta-da. Yay. Here's the price of the entire Target for the whole thing that you see here. Now do you see why I just don't think that the bedding at Pottery Barn is worth it? I just don't. There's just some things that are worth it and some things that are not. So 
let's do the ultimate test and I'm going to leave the bedding on and we're gonna let Jason give it a try tonight and tomorrow night so I guess first up he'll try the target because I don't feel like changing the bed back to the pottery barn one so um, I'm gonna let him try this out tonight and then we'll try the other one out tomorrow night and then we'll let you know which one he thinks is more cozy uh, I feel so refreshed after sleeping in my very comfortable, um, whatever this crap is. <laughs> My very comfortable comforter. And so, I feel so lucky and blessed. <laughs> okay, so this was your first night in the gray comforter. What did yes. you think of this one? I felt like the gray comforter was exactly what I needed in my life. It was very comforting. Okay, so tonight we'll try out, that's my dog hacking in the background by the way. <laughs> um, we'll try the blue one out and then you'll let me know which one you like the best. I and, will let you know, but I can tell you right now, I think I like the gray. Oh, well you haven't tried the blue, so you have to try it, but can you? Oh, I thought I had tried the blue. You haven't tried the blue. Okay. But can I ask a question? Yes. Why do you have a leprechaun hat on? Because I'm lucky. <laughs> lucky you, that you- You, out in TV land, should follow us on this channel and perhaps you can find me pot of gold <laughs> oh my goodness you're you're crazy this morning okay we'll be back tomorrow <sighs> oh hello friends <laughs> oh mr rogers is back oh. <laughs> well i wanted to give you a critique of uh, after i've now slept in both of these uh quilted comforter down thingamajiggers and uh i will tell you that uh the blue one while nice, I like the weight of the gray one better. I'm not sure who manufactures it, but... I haven't told him who is who. So... So he doesn't know which one is which. I like the... This one's nice, but I like the other one better. It's weighted a little better, so... And so does uh, Weenus Supremus here. Yes, she, uh, she does. She likes it better, too. And I'm sorry about the lighting, but we don't have the camera lighting on right yeah. now. Well, you know... He just woke up. I just woke up. I was sleeping in my slumber. Yeah, yeah, and but yeah, why do we have this hat on this morning? Well, you know, I just today was more of a dwarf on golf kind of thing. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your expertise opinion on the betting. I am a betting expert. <laughs> Peace out, man. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jason's a goofball. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.